your original hometown dealer, Saida, Trudeau, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram. What we're doing here, we're at Wheeler Well, which is about 15 miles southeast of Highway 160 in Pahrump. Uh, the horses and wild animals come down here and use this well uh, for water during the summer and winter. And people come up here and unfortunately vandalize the well. So we're trying to bury the line that goes to the well. It comes from a spring about 300 yards behind me. And uh, so that it can't be vandalized or people driving over it won't hurt it. Uh, the well was started quite a while ago. The original uh, custodian of the well was named Dick Senior. Mm -hmm. And he aged on and turned it over to a friend of mine, Don Deal, and the uh, old geezers four by four uh, club or side by side club, and they've been taking it, uh, taking care of it. Don actually hauled wa water up here in a 500 gallon plastic tank for a whole summer to fill this tank for the animals, and we got the line working again, and uh, so we've kind of taken over where they've left off, trying to keep this well going for the animals. We've witnessed, I've witnessed personally, elk, deer, horses donkeys, burrows, whatever, yeah. uh, and all sorts of birds and animals uh, use this well, and uh, it's a shame that people vandalize it. So when the line was on top of the surface, it was really hard not to damage it when they uh, used it. So uh, yeah, we're just trying to bury it and get it out of the way. <laughs> Gary and I, um, we, we talked about this because he and I come up here very frequently and fix the line uh, and unplug it and that type of thing. Uh, so we decided we wanted to do a permanent fix uh, and we talked to the club about it and they said, well, sure, we'll, we'll do a work party whenever. And we started looking for people to donate stuff and we had Ahern Rentals. Uh, they've uh, graciously donated the equipment, uh, food and a lot of stuff. Great Basin Well Service donated some pipe and Larry's Well Drilling Service also donated a very large amount of pipe wow. for us to be able to use to bury this line. Yeah, we just, uh, they came in looking to get some rentals to, you know, kind of help out the community and get all this fixed up. And mm -hmm. I figured that was a perfect opportunity to come out and donate some time and my guys and my equipment and yeah. make a little bit of a difference around here. I mean, having the equipment definitely makes it a little bit easier for yeah. us, but yeah, we do a ton of off-roading out here and this is, in my mind, one of the landmarks out here in Pahrump, so. How big is the trench that you're looking at um, digging for this line? Uh, I would say it's probably end, gonna end up being about 200 feet mm -hmm. and probably about 18 inches down. Out here in Pahrump, it's all about doing stuff for the community. I mean, me, my wife, my kids, we come up here all the time yeah. and it's just kind of sad seeing things go to waste like this and you know, vandalism out here, trash all over the place. So I'm hoping between uh, the new partnership we got, yeah. I'm hoping we can just make a difference and change all different kinds of things around here. I used a shovel to get all the rocks out. Did you see the wild horse over there? And can you tell me what you think about it? It was tiny and it was cute. Yeah? Yeah. Why do you think that this is important? So the animals could have freedom and eat and stuff so they don't get skinny. Yeah? Yeah. Were the rocks heavy? Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited that you did this project today? Yes.